Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about force sensitive resistors and how to use them with Arduino to detect force or pressure on a surface. These are also known as force sensors and they come in various shapes, sizes and sensitivity ranges depending on what you want to use them for. Force sensitive resistors are simply variable resistors whose resistance changes when mechanical force is applied. This force can be weight, pressure, tension or compression. However, these resistors are not very accurate for absolute measurement of force or pressure due to a number of factors, one of them being the variation in the area of contact. For example, if I touch this sensor with my finger, the response will depend on the area of contact, which depends on where exactly I have pressed, and this affects the resistance. Therefore, these sensors are only good for rough measurement of force. For example, if you want to know how hard someone is pressing on a surface, but if you want to build a weighing scale to get accurate measurement, you need to use a load cell. This is the load cell. I have a tutorial on how to make a weighing scale using a load cell and Arduino, which you can check out. I'm going to put the link to that tutorial in the description below this video. This is the first sensitive resistor I'm going to be using. As you can see, the one I'm using is having a square contact area. Yours may be a bit different because they come in different shapes. Some of them are circular, but the connections are the same and even the working is the same. Also, you can see here, this force sensitive resistor comes with some short male solderable connectors here, but they are quite challenging. They can pose a challenge, especially if you're going to be using this sensor on a breadboard. So it's very, it's a bit hard to just connect it like that. So what I've done, I have soldered some extra piece of wire on this sensor so it can be easily connected to the breadboard and also other components. However, you have to be very careful when you're doing the soldering so that you don't damage the sensor and the process. Before connecting the force sensitive resistor to Arduino, you can first test it to see if it is working properly using a multimeter. This is the setup I'm going to use to be able to test my force sensitive resistor using a multimeter. I'm going to use these uh, alligator clips to be able to connect the ends of this force sensitive resistor to the positive and negative ends of my multimeter. So this sensor, its connection are not palliative sensitive, so you can just connect any of these wires to the negative and positive leads of the multimeter. Then after that, you move your multimeter dial to measure resistance. When there's no force applied on the sensor, the resistance is very high. It cannot even be measured by this multimeter. So I'll just maybe put it around 20 kilo ohms. That's why I'll be beginning to measure my resistance change when I apply a force. So for example, if I touch the force sensitive resistor, you will see resistance value is beginning to change and they will go on decreasing as I continue applying more force on the sensor. If you reduce the force, the resistance increases. So that's how you test that your force sensitive resistor is working properly. Then from here, you can be able to use it with a microcontroller like Arduino. Let me now show you how we can be able to use the force sensitive resistor with Arduino in a number of our projects. But before you're able to use this sensor with any microcontroller like Arduino, we need to get a way of converting the applied force to voltage. This is done by connecting the force sensitive resistor to a known pull down resistor in a voltage divider circuit. For example, in my case, I'm going to be using this is the force sensitive resistor, and I'm going to use a 10K pull down resistor here. This creates a variable voltage output that can be read by the analog to digital converter of the microcontroller. The output voltage is the voltage drop across the pull down resistor and it's not across the force sensitive resistor. The voltage output is given by the ratio of the product of the supplied voltage and the pull down resistor to the sum of the pull down resistor and the resistance of the force sensitive resistor. So from that equation, you will see that the value of the pull down resistor affects the sensitivity of the sensor. And if you compare the graph of the output voltage against applied force for the voltage divider circuit, the higher the resistance of the pull down resistor, the more sensitive the force sensitive resistor is. And the, the opposite is also true. So normally a 10 kilo ohm resistor is used because it gives optimum sensitivity for most force sensitive resistors. But you can use other values depending on the application you are using this sensor for. So this setup can help us to first do some kind of calibration for our force sensitive resistor in order to know the output voltage with reference to the microcontroller's analog to digital converter. The output voltage of the sensor will be zero volts when there is no force applied and when you apply maximum force, the output voltage is five volts. In this case, I'm using Arduino board, which has a 10 kilobit analog to digital converter. Therefore, input voltages of zero to five volts will be converted to integer values from zero to 1023. Let me now show you the code sketch that can be used to achieve this kind of conversion. This is the code you are going to use to be able to convert the output voltage from the force sensitive resistor to the corresponding analog values from the 10-bit analog to digital converter of Arduino board. 
The code begins by defining the pin we have attached our phone sensitive resistor, which is analog pin 0. Then we define a variable for storing the values that are going to be read from the phone sensitive resistor. In the setup section, we simply begin serial communication at a bound rate of 9600. Then in the loop section, we read the signal from the analog pin where the sensor is attached and store it in the variable. Then we also have to print the values on the serial monitor. Remember, we are going to have values from 0 to 1023. And according to the explanation I gave earlier, the more you press on your sensor, the higher the values will go. We can have some simple thresholds to display how much pressure is roughly being applied. So for example, on our serial monitor, we are going to see if the reading is less than 10, then we say there's no pressure being applied. If the reading goes above 200, then we have light, light touch. 800 medium squeeze, then above 800, then we shall have that's a, a big squeeze. So let me upload it to my Arduino board and open the serial monitor. Then we shall see what is going to be happening. I have uploaded the code now. And as you can see from the serial monitor, it shows there's no pressure because I'm not touching the force sensitive resistor. If you begin touching the resistor, you will see showing you a light touch. Then as you go on pressing harder, the values continue moving up and then medium squeeze, increase the pressure of a big squeeze. Yeah, that's how our phone sensitive resistor values work. Most of the applications of this sensor, we have to use these, these values as thresholds. So you check through these values and then create some thresholds depending on the amount of force that is being applied on the sensor. Then you can have some thresholds that can be used as a trigger for certain actions depending on the application that you are going to be using. Like I'm going to be showing you in the next examples. The first demonstration I'm going to use of how to use our force sensitive resistor will be simply using the force sensitive resistor as a switch to turn on and off the LED. So in this case, I'm going to add an LED here. So I'm going to attach the LED to digital pin 2 or my Arduino. Then this other setup remains the same. In case there was a lot of noise when you are testing your sensor in the Arduino IDE, as I shown earlier, then you can add a 4.0. 7 microfarad capacitor across the pull down resistor to kind of have some kind of a low pass filter there so you can get better results in all you are going to be doing. Now, let me have a look at the code that you are going to use and how this setup will, will be working. This is the code we are going to use for our force sensitive resistor to act as a switch to be able to turn on and off an LED. It's almost the same code, but you just because you are going to add the LED attached to digital pin to the Arduino and then define some variables to store the current state of the output pin and the previous reading from the force sensitive resistor Then also you need to have a debounce time because you're going to be using this as a switch so you need to cater for the debounce and in the setup section just declare the LED pin as an output and in the loop section read the value from the force sensitive resistor pin and then check if the value goes from below 500 to above 500 then you wait for some time to ignore the noise in the circuit then you toggle the output pin and remember the time so this other code here is for taking care of the debounce in the switch because remember we are using this as a switch i'll be putting a link in the description below this video where you can be able to check out all the code i'm going to be using so let me upload this code to arduino and when you upload this code to arduino you see that whenever you touch the force sensitive resistor the led turns on and when you touch again it turns off so that's how the force sensitive resistor works as a simple on and off switch. The last example I'm going to give is going to be sequential lighting of LEDs depending on the amount of force that is being applied on the force sensitive resistor. In this case, I'm going to be using four LEDs which are going to be attached to Arduino Dicto pins 4, 5, 6 and 7. The code is almost similar to the word I used at first. Then in this case, I'll also add some serial communication because I want to see the value of the analog readings from the Arduino. So the LEDs will be lighting depending on the amount of force that is being applied. And in that case, I'm going to be using these if statements. If the value of the analog reading is uh, above 900, then all the LEDs will be lighting. And if it is above 800, only the last LED will be off, then the others will be high. And if the reading is below 400, then all the LEDs will be off. Let me upload it to my Arduino, and then we see what is going to be happening. So I have now uploaded the code. Let me open my serial monitor. Uh, as you can see, the serial monitor readings and when I begin touching the sensor, the LEDs will also begin lighting one at a time, depending on the amount of force that I'm applying on the force sensitive resistor. So the more force that I apply, the more LEDs light. When I decrease the force, even the LEDs will decrease the lighting. 
So that is how we can be able to use the force sensitive resistor with Arduino. We can also play it out in a number of other applications. Also check out the link in the description below this video where I have talked about more uses of this force sensitive resistor. Hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like and watch my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.